Now, when we have two pages in our app, we can manage navigation between them. There are several ways to do that. Changing the app default route, adding an Ionic back button, or assigning the navigate to page action. Before we start, let's make sure the app pages have meaningful names. We already have the About Us page, so let's rename the second page, Screen 1. Select it in the Project view, then click its COG icon and choose Rename. Also, we will need to show the page header. To unhide it, select the page component and set its header property to True. Then, add the toolbar title to the screen header and change its common text property to Menu. By default, Screen 1 will be loaded when the app starts on the device, but this default route can be easily modified under the Project, Routing page, anytime. This way, if you change it to About Us, it will be loaded on the App Start instead of the Menu page. But in our app, it's the Menu page that loads by default, so let's set the default route back to Menu. Now let's open the menu page and drag and drop a button that, when clicked, will navigate us to the About Us page. First, let's change its text property to Contact Us. Now you can switch to the Style tab and modify the button's styling according to your likes. For example, modify the button color, size, and shape. Now unfold the Event tab from the bottom and select Navigate to Page for the Click Event action. For the route name, select About Us and save the event. Make sure that the default About Us page we created from a screen layout goes with the predefined Ionic Back button. On click, this button will navigate us back to the menu page. Actually, our first app is ready. It is pretty simple, but already contains two pages with navigation on button click. So let's test how it works. When the app loads, click the Contact Us button to be navigated to the About Us page. To navigate back, simply click the Back button in the page header.